Uh, Geraldo Rivera speaking with the... What is it, Geraldo? What, Jerry Rivers is still in the media? He's still around? That guy with that big mustache? I'm not going to play any of his stuff. Huh? Diane Sawyer a trip to Iran where she kissed the feet of Mahmoud uh, Amanajad. Oh, my God, she's disgusting. See, in my world, Diane Sawyer would have uh, had her passport seized upon coming back to America, and the smirk would have been driven off her face as she was booked. Uh, uh, the handcuffs on the back of her hands for aiding and abetting the enemy, the Hitler of our time. She would have been fingerprinted and booked for sedition. Then we would have seen if she was still smirking, giving a little speech. Okay? Here's Diane Sawyer goes to Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and does not one a a not once say to him, how could you deny the Holocaust? Here are the pictures of the six or seven million Jews that Hitler killed. How dare you do this to the world? So Diane Sawyer, in essence, is agreeing that the Holocaust didn't occur. This is what ABC has become. Listen to clip 13. I understand that it's confusing sometimes what we do and why we're there, but even... Oh, shut up! Even Get your the adversary... Off. Oh, shut up! Get that hag off my show. We're not confused by what you do, you witch. You witch, you. You think that you're better than all of us. That's what it is, Diane. You think we're confused by what we do and why we're there? We're not confused by the fact that you're a low-life witch who would do anything for ratings, including going over to the Hitler of our time. You rotten, stinking witch, I pray to God, I pray to God that one day, one day you come to understand how low you have become, Diane Sawyer. What a low-life vermin you really are. Play that again. I want to hear the whole thing. I understand that it's confusing sometimes what we do and why we're there, but even, even your adversaries have their own point of view, and how can you tackle this part of the world if you don't understand why you they say they're doing whore. what they're doing even you your lying whore can teach you something about why they are doing what you they're doing. lying and whore we trying you. to bring back real information in this critical time for these people who live in that part of the world it is so complicated you're full of crap who do you think you're fooling you're a liar and the reason you gave this interview about that interview is because you realize what you have done you're being told that the people hate your guts i don't know how this goes on in this country that a witch, a whore like Diane Sawyer, and I'm going to stick to those words. To me, she's a whore. She's a whore for selling out her intellect like this, whoring herself for ratings. She goes and visits the Hitler of our time, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, does not challenge him on one of his statements, not one. And she does it just for ratings. And she has the nerve to come back here and pretend that it's confusing on what we do and why we're there. Who do you think you're talking to? Even your adversaries have their own point of view. So let's see if I can follow this. It's 1940 and you go visit Adolf Hitler and people are already being uh, assassinated and executed and worked to death uh, in Nazi Germany. And you say that even your adversaries have their own point of view. And how can you tackle Germany if you don't understand why they say what they're doing and why they're doing it? Diane, all I could say to you is you're probably the lowest creature in American journalistic history. You're probably the lowest creature in the history of American journalism. Did you hear me, Diane Sawyer? I hope to God this gets to you because this is one man's opinion. But let me tell you, it's not only one man's opinion. It's tens of millions of Americans know that you are the lowest whore in the United States of America. I stand by those words, and if you don't like it, sue me. Take me to a court of law for calling you a whore because you are an intellectual prostitute for what you have done for ratings. You're lower than Anna Nicole Smith on her worst day. You're dumber than Paris Hilton. You're more shallow than, than Lindsay Lohan. If you think you're going to get away with this, you're mistaken. You already know that you've stepped in it by giving this interview. I don't know who you gave it to on ABC. Play the beginning of that again for the people to listen to what I'm talking about here. I understand that it's confusing sometimes what we do and why we're there, but even, even your you hear, adversaries... You hear, hold on, hold on. you hear when people lie? You hear when they're stretching out a word, they're thinking, uh, even... You can hear she's sweating in this interview. I, I, hey, look, I got an ear on me that no one can match. When they hear the stretch out the word, even she's already thinking. She almost going to use another word, even your adversaries. Now, he's only an adversary. Just a simple point of view. It's just a different point of view that he wants to kill all the Jews in Israel. He wants to deny the Holocaust so that he could commit another one. But that's just a different point of view. It's an adversary. That's all to Diane. I don't suppose Diane might have a Jewish friend or two in New York that would stand up to her. Anyone in New York City in the media who knows Diane Sawyer? who may be of the Jewish faith, who might have an opportunity to say to her, you'll become lower than the lowest whore 
outside the Holland Tunnel in fishnet stockings at 3 in the morning. That you stink, lady. And if ABC had a scintilla of decency, they'd fire her for what she just did. <laughs> Look who I'm talking to. Are you kidding me? CBS sent Mike Wallace over there. They all go there. They're all the same. She's not alone. They're all the lowest of the low. Organized criminals have more decency, as far as I could tell, than the media, the media pimps and whores. I hate to use words like this. I don't use these words for effect. These words have actual meaning. If you use the word whore, it is fundamentally not a, uh, a, a curse word. It's not a dirty word, really, per se. The word prostitute has a meaning. Someone who prostitutes themselves. So if you can prostitute your body or you can prostitute your mind. You can prostitute your career. You can prostitute your intellect. In that regard, in my opinion, Diane Sawyer meets the, phrase, meets, meets the term prostitute perfectly. So I use the word whore. It means the same thing. Okay? She sells herself cheaply. That's what the word means. Now, when you use the word pimp and you say a person pimps himself, what it means is he is selling, a, selling something for somebody else. That would be her bosses at ABC. They would be the equivalent. That was where the word would apply. There is nothing, nothing wrong with what I am saying. I'm 100% right in my anger towards Diane Sawyer. I only wish you had the brains to turn off ABC and drive them out of business. What a rotten network to take this hag, this witch, this prostitute, this intellectual prostitute, and send her to Iran and let her come back. And she has the nerve to say it's confusing sometimes what we do and why we're there. You mean us little people don't know what you do, Diane? You're so powerful and intelligent? Portland, Oregon, Jay on KXL, what do you think? Am I right or wrong on this, on this indignation? I think you're right on the indignation. I, I expressed to your call screener, nobody expresses righteous indignation better than you. And I think that's probably Could why you believe that this woman would go and interview the Hitler of our time, who denies that there was a Holocaust so he can commit another one, while planning another one, and she has the nerve to say that it's confusing to us little people what she did? Exactly. Just like Sean Penn does. Just like um, the old reporter from CBS, Mr. Rather. Didn't he pull a stunt like that not too long ago? They're... Yes, Dan, Dan Rabbit went over there, too, I think. Yes, he did. All... I think Dan, Dan Rabbit went over there and uh, did the same thing with Haman Ajad. He's from CBS. They can't get enough of Hitler, can they? They can't. And I'll tell you this, doctor. You said it a couple weeks ago. This country's asleep. And we've got people like this floating around, passing off this BS, and you're expressing right. it. The government media complex. Beware the government media complex. I said I wouldn't get upset. Here I am upset already. It's Friday. I'm not supposed to be upset. Sure, I'm upset that a media would bury the story of the uh, Bosnian Muslim uh, executioner in Salt Lake City and instead cover someone who uttered a homophobic remark uh, in the NBA. Of course I'm upset. Diane Sawyer goes over to Iran and kisses the behind of the Hitler of our time who denies the Holocaust occurred while planning the next Holocaust. Of course I'm upset. Uh, whichever way you turn, there's something to get you crazy. You've got the director of Homeland Security who will not step in and get the Border Patrol agents out of federal prison. Instead, they did a deal with a Mexican drug dealer. Of course I'm upset. There's a hundred reasons to be upset. You've got Pelosi and the Democrats. The first act was to undermine the troops cut their legs out from under them and tell our enemies to keep firing because soon they'll, they'll have their back facing the enemy's guns. Of course there's a lot of reasons to be upset. And then you look at the other side, you got George Bush, the man who will still not explain why it's taken him four years to pacify Iraq, and you see the contracts and the corruption. We the people understand that we're being swindled on every side. And so therefore, all I could say is I have a little outrage. I, you don't care. You don't care Diane Sawyer would go interview Ahmadinejad. Because you're a little person, and you're confused by what she did and why she was there. And you believe that she's right when she says even your adversaries have their own point of view. And that you need to talk to your adversaries, not asking them any real questions, because you're liable to get your throat cut. What you do is you ask them softball questions. Then you could say you interviewed Ahmadinejad uh, and your bosses in New York uh, from NYU who crawled their way out of the gutters of Brooklyn, the communist uh, oil cloth tables of Brooklyn to become the, the news writers and the producers of ABC. The vermin of the vermin's vermin. The egg droppings of an insect run ABC. I'll be right back.